What's up everybody and welcome to Cloud Gaming X where we cover the games in the cloud and today I'm bringing you guys a Stadia news video featuring the Founders Edition going for some insane prices on eBay, a rival streaming platform dropping their prices and according to the CEO of that platform he is claiming that publishers might not want to work with Stadia. Hmm. So that's going to be in this video. And as always, if you guys could drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Stadia content as we're about to hit the release here soon. And we're going to be going full throttle here on Cloud Gaming X. Now, I thought this was crazy to see the Founders Editions are being listed at around $400 buyout here on eBay. And there's some bids at $200 that have been bidden on and they're started at the $200 mark. So to me, this is pretty crazy to see. These people could have just picked up the Premier Edition, but there you go. Some people missed out on the boat on that Founders Edition and they're looking to get back on. And I know some people accidentally canceled trying to change their shipping dates and all sorts of nonsense that occurred. But I thought I'd show you guys this madness. So if you're still looking for a founder's edition they're available but you're gonna have to pay up unfortunately now the next two pieces of news that i mentioned are actually tied together and this is about shadow streaming platform and their ceo making a comment about stadia now the first part of this is shadow has dropped their prices in an obvious reaction to stadia and i have to say it's actually kind of impressive the specs they have listed here for what you're renting out now the regular boost version isn't all that impressive and neither is the price keep in mind that stadia's 4k will be much cheaper and you're getting more for that price but the ultra and infinite already have pretty high computer specs that at this point i could only dream of of owning myself but they are very pricey at 30 bucks you get a 2080 gpu with ray tracing and at 50 bucks you get a titan gpu quality with ray tracing now these prices are still very high but the advantage you get with shadow is you can play your current steam library origin library epic etc etc versus stadia it's going to be a fresh platform you have to start from scratch on to buy your games now as far as my opinion this won't affect stadia really in any way while shadow is partnered with some crazy good companies like intel and nvidia they're really just targeting the pc community who is already entrenched in their own pcs now if you're someone who has the full steam library and your computer is more than five years old like me <laughs> you might be looking at shadow as an alternative but shadow dropping prices is just a counter move to stadia and at the end of the day it doesn't really matter like i keep telling everyone competition is a good thing for us consumers so in my opinion never Never look at this stuff as a negative or feel it's like a threat to your preferred platform because at the end of the day the cloud wars can only be a good thing in the end for us. Now this last piece of news is from Shadow's own CEO claiming publishers won't be so quick to work with Stadia and things that publishers will want to focus on their own storefronts. So a quote here from Jerome Arnaud, CEO of Shadow. As a publisher, you will see Stadia as a possibility, but sometimes also as competition because they're going to have their own studio. So being Epic, being Blizzard, you don't necessarily wish to collaborate that much with Stadia. You would rather privilege the channels which are going to the end user through your classical stores and etc., which we are offering. Now, I have a couple things to say about this. First, I don't think he's wrong about specific publishers. Epic may not want Fortnite on Stadia. Blizzard may not want World of Warcraft on Stadia. As to prioritize their own launchers, and traffic but honestly i'm not that worried about it at the end of the day i think him saying because stadia is creating their own studio it's going to affect them caring about bringing their games to stadia but i feel it really wouldn't move the needle for those companies in their decision to bring their games to the stadia platform now that's just my opinion i mean we don't see fortnite and we don't see world of warcraft on steam or any other launcher so it just depends on if they see stadia as a big enough threat and he is saying because they are launching their own studio that he thinks that's enough for them to see stadia as enough competition to them i guess at this point it's just hearsay but i personally if i'm in their shoes i wouldn't be worried about stadia just yet but i get what he's saying we also have to keep in mind ubisoft is a company that is working with stadia and they have their own store and launcher so that's kind of what we're hoping for as a whole going forward with the rest of these publishers and we're hoping they all come to stadia but I'm not that worried about it at the end of the day i just don't think that they would look at stadia enough as a threat to them to not want to bring their games but like i said i'm not in their shoes and we're not we're not sure yet what's gonna what it's all gonna look like so i guess we'll see but all right guys that's gonna be it for me on this video if you guys enjoyed this please consider hitting that like button and sub to the channel for more stadia news and content right now we're just slowly rolling our way through everything so not as many videos have gone out but don't worry we'll got we'll still keep you updated on this channel with stadia news and 
anything Stadia related, so definitely stay tuned. Like always, thanks for watching. I'm Sunny, and as always, I hope you all have a sunny day.